Hi guys, I'm Greg. I want to ask you uh, a question. How many of you, the first thing you do in the morning is look at your smartphone? Raise your hand. Okay. So we have a situation here. Uh, so do me a favor and take your phone out of your pocket, unlock the screen. Ready? It's unlocked, okay? And pass it to the person on your left. <laughs> Feeling anxious? A bit? Afraid? Let's keep it for a few minutes, okay? So, I think we have to redefine somehow the, our relationship with our phones because, um, like all addictions, it will make our lives miserable, we will lose time, passions, money, <coughs> maybe friends. Mm. So, we are great nowadays with putting filters on our lives, like online um, feels like our life is great, fun, but actually we are able to feel depressed from time to time and it's not as colorful uh, as on Instagram or Snapchat. And uh, it makes us feeling bad after um, watching Instagram feed or Instagram stories or Snapchat stories. And, okay, uh, you're gonna say you are not a celebrity, you don't have this problem, but um, uh, Royal, um, Royal Public Health in UK made a study, conducted a study based on 1,500 uh, people and Snapchat and Instagram are the worst social platforms feeling, uh, making people feel depressed and lonely. <laughs> this was Sena O'Neill, an Instagram celebrity, and she had one uh, half a million of uh, followers on Instagram. And, uh, she confessed that uh, making a perfect selfie required her to take like few hours of a day, then switching to, to a few apps, tweak, tweaking it and making it better, then to publish. And she correlated like how many followers and likes she has to how many people likes her, which is rubbish. It's not, uh, which is not true, of course. And she deleted her account and this is a quote. I was addicted to what others thought of me simply because I was so easily available, she wrote. I was severely addicted. I believed how many likes and followers I had correlated to how many people liked me. I didn't even see it happening, but social media had become my sole identity. I didn't even know what I was without it. Mm. And you don't have to be a celebrity to feel this way. Like there are studies I mentioned before that um, shows us that we feel bad after Instagram or Snapchat. This is a slot machine and after pulling the handle the brain releases dopamine in your brain and you're gonna ask this is a, a swipe to swipe to refresh gesture on iPhone or Android and then it's designed this way to release dopamine and it's not a new email that makes you a dopamine and um, release dopamine and uh, makes you feel good but it's the um, waiting for some news. If you would knew, knew that the news are good or bad, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have this feeling, like the anticipation of we don't know what uh, feels us uh, makes us feeling this way. And oh, well, this was designed to keep us hooked from the slot machines. And you see, the problem is like the, like the alcohol, like gambling, <coughs> like tobacco, all of those things release dopamine. It makes us feel good. But we have age restrictions on those, but we don't have age restrictions on smartphones. So this is like opening a liquor store and saying, please, come in, everyone's invited. Um, so besides being impatient, we are narcissistic. But it's not your fault, it's our fault, like the people who make IT, people who make apps. Uh, 
I am a, a user, I was a user experience designer, and this was our mantra. Like, mobile is all about instant gratifications. We have to fulfill in the promise we gave within 10 seconds, because after this time, this 10 seconds, we're gonna close the app and go. And again, this is not your fault. Um, in the past, if you want to play music, you have to find the CD, go to the CD player, put the CD, play track, find the track, play, done. Now you have Spotify. The same goes with Netflix. Even the same goes with dating. Like, um, in the past, you had to meet a girl, ask her, mm, maybe you want to go for a date, and uh, maybe we go for a, a lunch, and if she says no, this means maybe. If she says <laughs> maybe, this means, yeah, this means yes. And now we have Tinder. Just swipe right. <laughs> it's a match. So we are impatient, narcissistic, and miserable. Uh, average. Average uh, user picks up his phone 120 times a day, and there was a study in the U.S. and they asked uh, they asked uh, American students um, what's the most important thing in your life, and they answered iPhone, and they would rather forget the wallet than the iPhone. So I thought, wait, 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 wait. I'm not like that. I'm Poland. I'm much older. So I installed the Moment app which helps me track my habits, my relation uh, with my smartphone. And this is the road from Warsaw to Krakow, which takes roughly two hours, two hours 20. And I pick up, these are the points where I pick up my phone 24 times, which makes me much worse than an American student. I waited a moment for some da data to be gathered in this app, and I said, whoa, 50% of my waking life, 50% half of it, is with my smartphone. And I pick up my phone every, on average, of course, every six minutes. So I'm addicted. I was addicted. And I follow a few steps to normalize this relationship with my phone. And I want to share with you some of them, and they are not rocket really science. Actually, they are pretty, pretty easy to, to adapt. This is the easiest one, absolutely the easiest, and it made the biggest impact on my life. Don't charge your phone in your bedroom, because the first thing you're gonna see is your alarm clock, is your notifications, is your phone. And there is a quantitative and qualitative difference between Starting a day uh, with a shower, with a proper meal, maybe meditation, with some walk, or starting a day with your smartphone in, in, in the bed. And you're going to say, this is my arm clock. Guess what? You can buy one. I'm going to buy it. It's kind of loaded. <laughs> Secondly, turn off badges, like these small red dots. Uh, on your apps, and they are red for a reason, because red, um, in our mind, red is um, connected with urgency, so we need to check the red color, our brain see the red color faster. So turn off the badges if you may, put those social apps or mail apps on the second or third screen, and if you have to um, have it this way, we can make a shortcut at three times the home button, and it's going to put your iPhone or Android like Kindle, it's going to be great, not sexy at all, and you won't have this need to check it constantly. <sighs> Everyone likes to play games, mm, but please choose those games wisely. Auto Adventure is an infinite snowboard game. It was a big hit in the App Store. But it's infinite. There's no clear beginning, there's no end. You have to can play, play for hours. And there are some tricks. The first one is like proximity backflip. 
then you have double proximity battery, then you have triple, and it goes and goes and goes on. Mm -hmm. There is a clash of clans, massive hit in the App Store. Uh, it was earning six million bucks a day. It was free. Clash of Clans is it's designed um, you to be constant online. Check at least once a day or even a few hours, then you win. But there is no win. There is no you can you can be. It's almost um, impossible to achieve to be on top. It's super highly addictive. On the other side of the spectrum is Mario. Mario is finite. Mario is bounded. So you can not even see the end, and you can reach there. And if you pay once, uh, there's no way Nintendo will get more money from you. You pay once, and you're done. Or beautiful game, Monument Valley. It was it was in uh, House of Cards. Um, Frank Underwood played it, which is a good recommendation. Um, it's a beautiful game, clear beginning, clear ending, <coughs> done. Maybe you know, maybe you know this game. Mm, the, the original original name is uh, uh, as words, so I put it out, but. Mm, when you meet with friends on a dinner, put all your phones on the table, center, face down, and then when something, when some uh, smartphone rings, no one can touch it. If he touches, if he calls, it, if he takes it, he he he, he has to he has to pay for for the whole table. Turn off the notifications, like they can wait, like. Uh, take them out from the home screen. I can check it once an hour. Chris can wait for, a, uh, for my answer. And if you want to check a, an hour or something, you won't subconsciously check who's gonna, who, who has made a, a text you on Telegram. Mm. When you transit with bus, with car, or tram, Try to put your smartphone in a bag or a backpack. So, if you have it in a pocket, you will be super easy to take it out and to fill the time you have. And when it's in your backpack, we are lazy. It's going to be easier. So, out of sight means out of mind. Um, this is a great feature. It was introduced a few years ago. Don't put it between 10 to 7. On my phone, it's 24 hours. I don't have any rings, calls whatsoever. And I hope this is going to uh, uh, change um, relationship with your phone and please make your, your addiction and your relationship with your phone great again. Thank you very much.